So in this video, I'm going to continue from the last one where we were parsing data from a web file and displaying it in a table. Now we're going to parse that data from the web file and save it to a core data database and then retrieve it from there. Okay. Um, so there's a couple of things I've added to this. Let's start. Um, the first thing is I created this rain item dot swift file. And how I did that is I just went in a new file and selected Swift and next um, called it rain item. Uh, I would typically prefer to have capitalized that um, I and item, but I, I didn't. Um, and then hit create and it will create your file. Now when you, uh, I'm going to cancel that out. Um, now when you create that, they, the only thing that will be in here will look probably just like this. And I want you to go ahead and add this information. You're going to add import core data, class rain item, again, you know, lowercase i there and item, and it's of type ns managed object. That's important. This is uh, how you can, uh, this is how you work basically with core data databases. You create these managed object files and these match all your fields in your, um, the, basically these are your columns in each of your rows in your um, database. And so um, if you remember our data had a days, um, number of days that uh, this particular city got rain or precipitation and the inches of precipitation, right? And so next we'll go, so that, that's completed, that's important, we need that. Next we'll go to our core data, and basically this is where you can create your database. I've already done it, but what I actually did here is go, I went down here and hit add entity. Um, when you do that, it creates this right here. I just renamed it rain item. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with this one, but all I did was hit plus, and I kinda clicked in here and just renamed this rain item. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna discard that right now. I'm not gonna do anything with that actually. Does it let me delete it? Yeah, I'm deleting it. Um, so anyway, once now you have your entity called rain item, and then you come over here to your attributes and you hit the plus sign here to add attributes to your um, items. And like here, well, I'll just do this again. So in here, um, I went to the plus sign and I hit it, typed in rain, uh, actually, let's say city, ah, and I did it of type string, right? Um, then I did it again for inches, and that one I think I made a double, right? Um, and then so on. So I had inches of type double, days, and city as strings. And everything I kept lowercase in there just so you're in sync with what I'm doing. So there you go. That's your um, table for this uh, database, for our core data database. So now let's go back into our viewcontroller.swift. Let's kind of review what we were doing. We were in here and we were calling this uh, call file from web function. And that, um, now, you know, I'm not going to go over all this, but basically this just called this um, file sitting on a web server and downloaded all the information. And we stored it in um, these arrays and then actually even stored it in this uh, dictionary. And we didn't do anything with that la last time, but now we are. Um, we're going to use that to um, add items to our managed objects. And so this un is new. You want to add this line. And again, I'll share all this code with you. I'll probably just give you the whole project so you can use it. But this line is basically an array of type man uh, rain item, which is our managed object, right? Uh, oh, one other thing. You're going to make sure that you have this import as well in our viewcontroller.swift. So we're working with core data. All right, so we have that uh, managed object variable. And so we're going to add this call to the um, this new function we're going to create called add data to database. And that's basically after we downloaded all the information, now you want to add it to the database is basically what we're doing. I think I had that in there. I just commented out. You can uncomment it. And like I said, so I'll give you this code, but this is what that 
um, function looks like. It's pretty simple. Um, it, you have this uh, delegate that we create called Manage Object Context, which allows us to start creating uh, Manage Object Items, right? And we're going to go through that dictionary um, variable that we had from last time called Items. And we're going to go ahead, so that saved all our data for us. We're going to now add that to our Managed Object Items, right? Our My Items um, variables and we can call that you know by saying my items dot days dot city dot inches anything that you had created in here you can use and call right and so that's what we're doing here we're grabbing them from the items and saving them here and so once you've done that this is the important line that actually saves it to the core data database it's called um, a built-in function um, so you basically use your manage object context variable and do a dot save right um, this is inside of a uh, try catch, and so as long as everything goes well, should save, save the data. Then I've added this little function here that's going to grab the data from the database, and so that's how this works. Um, it, basically, we do the same thing where we create that delegate object, and we're going to use this ns fetch request. Hey, what do we want to fetch? We're fetching the rain items entity. Right, and this is important too. This um, we have the ability to sort it. Um, we can sort it by this key, which would in this case be inches, which is very useful for this example, so that we can see um, the cities listed in the amount of uh, rain that they get annually. You can do ascending or descending, um, and uh, then we, you know, you just uh, use this little sort descriptors function, and then we go ahead and. Um, say hey let's go ahead and, and fetch that execute fetch request as rain item and lastly so that saves everything back into our my items managed objects right and then lastly we're going to refresh reload the table because what I've done again like you can just grab all this code from this because I've gone ahead and changed a couple of the uh, the table delegate fun uh, methods and replaced it um, last week we were using the or last time that I did this we were using the arrays now we're using the managed object my items dot count and then right here we have uh, my items uh, dot city and uh, my items uh, dot inches and you do this little thing here to convert a double to a string so you can display it All right and now that should work oh last thing I want to show you is this is really nifty I'm going to going to comment out that call and I'm going to undo this so this is real handy so basically we you're going to use an NS user default um, we're creating this ob this variable called is preloaded and basically so if the data is already loaded in the database um, if it's not that's why we have the exclamation point then we're going to hit go ahead and call and get the information from the web uh, and then we'll say hey we've preloaded the data we're good to go right and uh, so then next time we go through, this will not be true, and we'll come down right here, and we don't have to bother um, parsing a website. We can go straight to the data. Does that make sense? Okay, uh, last little thing I want to show you. Sometimes we'll get an error when you go to run. Even though we've done everything, you uh, back in your rain item .swift file, um, you sometimes need to put in this line here. And I'm going to be totally honest with you, I don't even know why. I've seen it in a couple of the um, Stack Overflow things. I was getting an error just now. Last time, I've done three or four different core data database apps and never had a problem. Um, but that, in combination with this, and this I did know, you want to click on your um, core data model here. And when you go over, click on this little icon here. And make sure your class matches whatever is in your name here, which should, should actually be the name of your um, entity here, um, and don't have anything in uh, the module here. Um, all that in place, then we should be able to run it and get a, um, we get the uh, information as we expect it, and you notice it's in ascending order, so the lowest is at the top, and we scroll down to the highest. Um, they did actually call the web at that point, 
because uh, remember we have it going to the web the first time. So if I run it a second time, actually you'll see it say call to the web there. And now if I do it a second time, it should say just straight to the data. Yeah, straight to the data, right? Perfect. Um, and there's our data. So that's great. That's um, the basics of using core data databases. Um, there's so much you can do from here. I'm going to have one more follow-up to this to go over the whole CRUD, um, the create, read, um, update, and delete of items in your core data database. That will be my next one. Um, look for that soon. Thanks.